Congrats. <laughs> There's the Aussie knuckle. <laughs> you guys are huge fans. Of course, we all know that. <laughs> oh, Aussie, he's a very funny guy. He rules. Um, in this uh, CD, you dedicated to uh, Roy Cortez. You just told me the story. Do you want to tell them briefly? It's um, sad but interesting. And well, when I, I don't live anywhere right now, but when I finally did get a place to live in, in Santa Barbara, uh, I moved in this specific place, and Shannon moved right below me. He moved in on the band. Shannon Larkin, the quiet one. <laughs> He's and not that quiet once the cameras to turn off. <laughs> Yeah. Growing a beard, right? Straight to right. A beard for months. Bucks. Fifty and bucks would bet him that he couldn't grow a beard. So go on. Um, anyway, Roy, <laughs> Roy's just Roy, Roy was this older uh, black guy, dreadlock, really cool guy, married to this lovely woman, Gwen. And uh, we'd come back from touring, you know, we'd go to like, you know, like uh, we'd go to Brazil, you know, and we'd come back. And he'd be like, where were you guys? We were all in Brazil. And he was just amazed that, uh, that we traveled so much, you know. And he tripped out on us. I was like, well, maybe one day we'll fly you out and, and that would be cool. But before that opportunity arose, he got murdered. And he actually got murdered right where we lived, you know, by this prick. And, uh, and that, was, that was devastating for, for Shannon, myself, um, a lot of people that knew him, because we hung out a lot, you know? And um, it was, I didn't know, I've never known anyone that close to die, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I didn't know what to do so. it's shocking. So you've dedicated the album to well, him. Well, the thing is, is now, 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 um, now he can try, like, even though he's not here physically, spiritually he's here, he's around the world everywhere we ever talked about, you know, that we've been or whatever. So he's traveled vicariously in name through this. Roy Cortez, good he's, buddy of yours. He's a good guy, good man. Well, God bless him. nice thing to do. Of course. We love Roy. So you guys are doing, uh, you're touring, of course. You're playing with, <laughs> one more time. Souls, Souls. at zero. <laughs> and Varga. And Varga. You gotta plug, gotta plug your friends' bands. And they're That's playing, right. um, and you guys are playing tonight? Yes, we are. In Toronto? Do you know where we're playing? Oh, it's a secret. No, but do you know what the name of the place is? No. Yeah, 4 p.m. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got to know where you're playing. RPM. RPM. I didn't even know where I was when I woke up. Oh, of course you don't know. I don't blame them. They just go traveling from town to town. September 16th, you're going to be in Winnipeg. On the 17th in Saskatoon. On the 18th in Edmonton. On the 19th in Calgary. And on the 21st or 22nd in Vancouver. Vancouver. When you go to Vancouver, Rocks. say hi to my friend Mary. <laughs> All right. Okay? She's a very nice girl. Is she married? No, she's not married. <laughs> As a matter of fact, look her up. I'll tell her you're going to call her. Um, how much time have we got here? 20 seconds. All right. Well, we're going to see uh, one of your video picks today. Okay. Which is for Jane's Addiction. Stop. Why did you want to see this one? I love Perry Farrell. He's rad. You guys know him very well? No, I've never no, met him. No. You've never met him? No, please. I met him once. Hey, Hi. <laughs> that was it? There you go. Okay, you, do, you like the band, you like the sound, obviously. Shane's Addiction rule. Shane's Addiction rule, Without along it. with Ozzy. Ozzy's the ruler. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much for dropping by, guys. We've run out of time. Thank you, beautiful woman. You welcome, Whit and Shannon, and this is uh, Jane's Addiction. Stop. We love it, these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Teresa Roncon and you're tuned in to another Power 30. We've got some crawl coming at you. That band is taking a bit of a break right now. Also, we've got an email request uh, from Cecil Coughlin who says, Are you going to play any ugly kid Joe in the near future? I've been waiting for some time now and I'm getting older. My grandson says I should listen to different music. Too old to change now, ugly kid Joe. Somehow, I don't think Cecil is quite that old, but here's the band that you wanted to see on the Power 30.